Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Investor Spotlight. I'm really excited to uh, introduce Matthew uh, Sullivan here to our group. Um, and I got to tell you guys that this is a really uh, exciting uh, time uh, for us to be building uh, the community together uh, where we can have a conversation that's not just like what we're hearing in the news media. Like where are people actually talking about information that's really actionable, finding ways to be able to help each other with real problems so we can actually take actions in our lives. So Matthew, thank you so much for joining us here today. And I was wondering if you could share with us a little bit about you and what your journey has been through your real estate investing and, and how that's playing out for you right now. Great. Well, Scott, thank you very much for having me on. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here with you. Um, so uh, the company that I run, which we set up back in December 17 is Quantum RE. Um, and what we do today is we help homeowners unlock some of the equity in their homes without taking on more debt. So that's a, a relatively new type of financial instrument that's it's actually been around for a decade or so. Um, but uh, this is something that I've really been looking at for a number of years. But it's really just in the last uh, 18 months to two years that this type of instrument has got the sort of institutional following um, that uh, is beginning to propel it into the mainstream. So uh, I think right now, we're at a point where there, that there are a number of homeowners who are probably searching for ways of unlocking their equity. So, um, you know, who knows what the, uh, you know, the next few months are going to bring. Yeah, absolutely. So um, tell us like a little bit more about that. So how are, how are you helping people um, get access to cash and, and how does this work with uh, what you're doing with Quantum RE? Well, let's look at the biggest problem that people have is um, they've built up a significant amount of equity in their home by paying off their mortgage. You know, this is, they're doing what people told you that you're supposed to do, which is, you know, try and be debt free. Uh, but the big issue is, and the big problem is, if you are a homeowner, the only way you can tap into that equity is to borrow money. So that's you go to the bank, you get a cash out refi, you get a second mortgage, you get a home equity line of credit, uh, or potentially, if you qualify, you can get a reverse mortgage. Now, there are millions of people, uh, and probably more and more each day, who through no fault of their own, they don't qualify for one of these loans. So they may not have the income, they may not have the credit score, they may be retired, all sorts of different reasons. And it's actually becoming more difficult to borrow money. So the conundrum is, if you're a homeowner, you might have hundreds of thousands of dollars of wealth um, locked up in the bricks and mortar of your home, but you're not able to un untap it. So our program is an equity-based program. So we're not lenders. We have institutional investors. And what those investors are willing to do is buy into some of the current value of your home and share in some of the potential increase in value. So they get paid by sharing in the increase or the appreciation of your home rather than getting interest. So what that means is that we have to, or rather we can take a much more uh, uh, flexible approach when it comes to your income, your debt to income ratio or your credit score. And we're not necessarily that bothered if you don't have an income, as long as you're able to pay the, the current mortgage. So that means we can, for many homeowners, unlock hundreds of thousands of dollars in a cash lump sum without them having to go into debt. And the most important point is there's no monthly payments, there's no interest, and, it's, it, and it doesn't appear on your credit report as an additional loan. That's awesome. So it's almost like you get a co-investor instead of the property that you own. It's very similar. If you look at how commercial property works, so with commercial property, you have all sorts of different layers in the capital stack. You have senior debt, junior debt, mezzanine, equity, preferred equity. In a residential home, you've got debt, <laughs> which is first mortgage, second mortgage, maybe a home equity line of credit. And then you've got equity, and the equity is what the homeowner owns. So there's no way at the moment, other than through the programs that we offer for the homeowner to tap into that equity. Um, so, and you're absolutely right. It's a way of, um, it's, it's co-ownership, but without all of the issues that would come from someone going on title. So the way the agreements work is very similar to an option agreement. And the option agreement says, 
uh, you've got in many cases up to 30 years to sell your home or to settle this agreement. And in the meantime, here's a lump sum to spend on whatever you want. Uh, very cool. So you're handling it by like on like the essence of like a contract instead of being able, having to handle it by like legal titling and, you know, mortgage registrations and all that kind of stuff. It's a bit of both actually. So it's a contract that is secured by a lien on the property. So the, the, the contract is represented um, by a type of deed of trust. So it is secured by a lien and that's very important because it protects the investors. So that means that when the homeowner sells, we're part of the escrow process. So that avoids any potential complications if the homeowner decides to sell, sell and conveniently forgets that we actually gave them <laughs> some a few years ago. That's right. And then you get it on title, right? So whenever anybody's trying to clear title for the sale, they're going to see that your contract is in place there. Or if they try to get like another loan onto the property, they're going to say, hey, there's actually somebody else that has a position um, in this property as well, right? And it's a junior position, so it's not a debt position. So the good news is, in most cases, well, pretty much in every case, it doesn't trigger any type of acceleration clauses in the existing mortgage because you're not increasing the debt on the property. You're just enabling the homeowner to tap into the equity. Mm, okay. And, and I think that's probably a new concept for a lot of people, which is about like, what is the different types of debt, like between junior and senior debt that goes on to it. I know like a lot of times we'll end up talking about it as like a things of being in first position or second position are secured and unsecured. Can you explain a little bit about um, how that works with what you guys do with Quantum Marie? Well, if you look at the lien, the lien will sit in a junior position. So that means it sits underneath the existing loans. So when we go through the underwriting process, we'll say, first of all, how much do we think your house is worth? And we've got a number of different resources at our fingertips to give us a, a very quick view. So we have AVMs or um, uh, automated valuation methods or mechanisms that allow us to uh, get a very good idea about what your house is worth. The next question really is how much existing mortgage do you have? So the position gives us what is the value of your home and how much debt do you have? And that gives us the equity position. Um, what we then do is we then strengthen that if, if we're able to proceed by sending a, an appraiser out. And so at the end of the day, once the contract is confirmed between us and the homeowner, it's that, that contract is registered as a performance deed of trust. So it's like a deed of trust, but obviously it's not a mortgage, but it has similar characteristics. And that will then sit in a second or sometimes in a third position. So whoever the existing lenders are, they don't get bumped from their first position. They stay where they are, which keeps them happy. And we then just sit underneath to make sure that we're part of the, the sales process. Uh, that's awesome, Matthew. So that sounds like a fantastic opportunity for people to have like a, uh, especially coming up as we should expect liquidity markets that you're able to seize up from banks. I think we've already started to see that happening with a lot of lending. Um, this sounds like this is a great um, option because it's all private money. It's a different underwriting process um, with it. Um, do you expect more people in the, here in the future with, then, with everything going on here in the next two to three months to be using more quantum um, REs uh, types of offerings? Yeah, and the uh, whole the industry itself is relatively. Uh, the answer to your question is yes, but but in terms of context, the home the the, sh the equity sharing type of contract has evolved. It's really only about ten years old, and it's really only in the last probably eighteen months to two years has that that it's actually begun to get traction. Um, we were on track as a an industry or a sector um, to do over a billion dollars of business in 2020 had the current you know circumstances not uh, you know not arisen so there's about a billion dollars of private money investment from institutions effectively non-bank sources of finance are investing fairly aggressively into the equity in single family homes but what that means really is that there's a lot of investor interest in buying into residential homes it's a 15 trillion dollar asset class there are 14 and a half million homes in the u.s that have 50 percent or more equities it's an enormous amount of of capital um, i think going forward people will find it harder to borrow money 
they will be looking for alternatives. Our biggest challenge really is, is education, is explaining to people how this works, um, that it isn't debt, that there are no monthly payments, that it's not too good to be true, that the homeowner, the, the investors do take their pound of flesh. Don't worry about that. There is a return for them. Um, but it is, uh, I think, a moment where these types of new or innovative financial uh, tools are going to be much more in demand for homeowners who have a much greater need for capital. Fantastic. Well, that's awesome, Matthew. And I think that's a great service that everybody should reach out to you if they're looking into um, access to cash, which I'm a big fan of right now of saying like, hey, everybody, we should be looking at how do we pull more cash? Because cash is going to be king when we're looking at seizing new opportunities or with weathering the storm. Um, so if you're looking at some of your financing options, I'd really consider talking to Matthew about that and seeing like, does Quantum RE um, have something that makes sense to you for you know what you're going through? Uh, Matthew, how, you know, as part of the community, um, you know, this is a great service that you're doing, and I think it'd be really helpful uh, to the community. Um, is there anything that we as a community um, can be doing to help support you personally or what you're doing with Quantum RE? Thank you, yes. And I think really it's about the view of what equity is and what it can be used for. So this is not really just an emergency funding tool. It's a way of diversifying. This is something you mentioned just now. Cash is king. So if you are um, sitting on equity in residential homes, either as a homeowner or as a, a small portfolio owner, then there are opportunities now to be able to use the equity to buy into real estate, which may be at a fortuitous price. Um, and I think... We would love to be able to help anybody else as well. So if there are um, portfolio owners or um, landlords that have um, equity in homes, then you know perhaps we could discuss ways of unlocking that to provide them with capital to enable them to grow their portfolio. So it's not, it's not just emergency funding. Awesome, Rosie. Well, thank you so much uh, for coming on to the Investor Spotlight Show today. And um, for anybody that's looking to reach out to you, I know they can drop a comment here inside of the Facebook page. If you're listening here on Facebook, it's the Tax, Legal, and Asset Protection Secrets for Real Estate Investors is the Facebook group to, to join, um, to interact with Matthew and all the other people um, in the community. Um, is there any other way that you'd prefer for, for people to reach out to connect with you, Matthew, as well? Well, we have the, uh, a lot of information on our website. So we have contact details phone numbers, emails. Uh, the website is quantumre, Q-U-A-N-T-M-R-E.com. And uh, you can find us there. Um, and uh, please reach out. We're pretty responsive as we're all working from home at the moment. Um, so if you have any questions, then you know we'll get straight back to you. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Matthew. Um, hope you have a great day and I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this Investor Spotlight session. Uh, be sure to drop a comment in for Matthew. We'll make sure that it gets, uh, gets over to him uh, to be able to uh, help you guys um, with anything you have uh, into that space and uh, welcome Matthew uh, into the group. Thank you, Scott. It's been great being on. Thank you.